and welcome back to another video. Um, so this is I've had this video on the back burner for a while, and I've had the thumbnail made for a while. Um, and it, yes, this is just a video I've been meaning to make, so I'm finally getting around to making it. Should you play Minecraft on Windows? Now, before I get into this, uh, uh, too in depth into this, I'm gonna quickly start by like um, talking about Minecraft Java and Bedrock Edition. Um, uh, people like to compare these two a lot because, you know, they are essentially just like, uh, when Microsoft bought Mojang, they started like, um, basically treating like Minecraft Bedrock Edition as the main Minecraft version rather than Minecraft Java, and obviously because Minecha Minecraft Ch Java predated the Minecraft Bedrock, and the by a good few years, and they went one to one, and uh, Minecraft Java had a lot of things Minecraft Bedrock doesn't, and Minecraft Bedrock has a lot of things that Minecraft Java doesn't. People like to compare these two, but essentially, if you ask me which which version is the best, it depends on what you're looking for when you when you play Minecraft. <laughs> If you want to delve into the mods and uh, don't really care much about uh, multiplayer, you just want like, single player with lots of mods, um, then Minecraft Java is the best version because it's got lots of mods and uh, better mods. Uh, so Minecraft, if you if you're into mods, Minecraft Java. But if you prefer multiplayer or have a low-end PC, pick Minecraft Bedrock Edition because Minecraft Bedrock is, uh, you know, far more easy on the PC. Like, My Minecraft Bedrock is, uh, you know, basically, was well, basically designed to run on mobile, devo mobile phones. So, when you take a version of Minecraft that was basically, you know, programmed to run on this, you're essentially going to get um, something that, and then you put it onto the PC. Even low-end PCs will be able to run it quite well because mobile, surprisingly, mobile phones aren't that powerful, um, at least compared to PCs. Um, and the re and the reason why I say multiplayer is better is because, um, well, two reasons. Firstly. If you, if you, um, you know, don't want to run a server and you only have like a small group of friends you want to have on, you can make a realm which uh, will allow, you know, anybody on your, that you invite to join it, um, you know, at any point in the time. Or if you don't want to pay for a realm, you can uh, do a normal world, but then uh, people can, uh, if you have a say, oh, right, people can join your world when you're playing it, and then they can, you know, play on it as well, and, uh, uh, yeah, so, just straight up on Minecraft uh, Bedrock, um, multiplayer is a lot easier. But then, let's talk about servers. Servers are a lot cheaper on Minecraft Bedrock than it is on Java. According to the Hive server, like, uh, I believe, like, moderators or the owner, like, basically people who run the Hive server, which at one point in time was the most popular Java server out there, and um, they basically made a deal with Mojang for them to, like, make a version on be of their server on Bedrock. And, uh, the, you know, they did that, and uh, um, when the Java server shut down, uh, Hive uh, made a few statements. One of them, and th those statements were basically, um, one of them was, um, running a Minecraft Bedrock server is a lot cheaper and a lot more less resource intensive to run a Minecraft Java server of the s with the same play account, um, and a lot less laggier, and, uh, um, they also said that if it was not for the Minecraft Bedrock uh, server, um, you know, being made, then the Java server would have closed down a lot sooner. 
Now, that, that's basically saying that the Bedrock server was not only, you know, popular enough and profitable enough to keep itself open, it was also profitable enough to keep the Java server open for longer, at least extend its lifespan. So, yeah, if you want to, if you want to run a server, but have a limited budget, Bedrock's going to be your platform of choice. Um, so, yeah, that, that's essentially it, like, there's more, like, gameplay, um, there's more, like, gameplay, like, differences between the two, which if you don't care about multiplayer or mods, then you might want to look into them, but other than that, if you care about multiplayer and if you care about mods, the, you know, those two are the ones you want to look into. But yeah, let's take a look at Minecraft Windows, uh, Minecraft Bedrock Edition on Windows. So, yeah, let's have, let's uh, take a look on the mail now. Unsurprised, uh, my PC is a bit of a beast, so it's gonna have no problem running Minecraft at all. Um, uh, it's just gonna load into the world. And it's night time. So yeah, well, no lag, and bearing in mind this is very intent in the intensive because um, I'm uh, using RTX, which oh, I'm gonna need to sort out because oh no, Axel, oh goddammit, I need to talk Axel, Axel, Axel. Anyway, um, basically, um, RTX is a uh, Bedrock exclusive uh, thing uh, where basically. It, to use as ray tracing, which is only possible with certain like uh, video cards. But yeah, even with like ray tracing, like there's nothing like super like taxing here. We've got some, we've got like some chickens, some villagers, and some minecarts. But ah, oh, I need to go there. Hold on. There we go. Um, but yeah, there's nothing like super laggy in this area. Um, and I'll probably like uh, try and break Minecraft with a command block in later. But yeah, even with a more intensive video setting, it's quite good. Um, Realms are a bit of an issue because um, if you have a render distance over eight chunks, then they it tends to lag out the realm. Which um, this is basically eight chunks. Which is, which if you like bigger render distance, that can be a bit of a problem. But honestly, I actually don't mind eight chunks. Like I, when I originally. Uh, loaded it, I thought I was going to have more of a problem with it, but no, yeah, I've actually gotten quite used to it, and now most days I don't even really think, oh, the render distance is too short, I just, it's a year. Um, also, um, because Minecraft Bedrock is, uh, you know, more resource efficient and, you know, less laggy than all other Minecraft Java, you can have the same device for on Minecraft Bedrock and Minecraft Java can have much bigger uh, render distance on Bedrock than Java, um, which is nice. Yeah, let's like let's create a new world. Um, I'm gonna do this in Creative. Continue. Create. Not really going to do anything special with it. So yeah, look how quickly it loads in. Um, like, if for you were to like load a, load a world in in Java, it would take a lot longer. Like seriously, um, 
So yeah, now let's let's try to break Minecraft. So let me just get give at p command block repeating. Some on and uh, underscore drag on. So, yeah, we've got a lot of ender dragons. We're starting to lag. Oh. I should have probably put a way to destroy the command block. But yeah. Look how many Ender Dragons there are, and it's not super bad. Like, my ears lagging quite a bit, but compared, you know, like, considering that there's this many Ender Dragons, not too bad. Now, Kill at e type equals and uh, underscore dragon. Just look at how many ender dragons that was. Now again, like I did. Uh, like I said earlier, my uh, PC is a beast, so... Um... Oh! Is... Oh, there we go. Killing all the Ender Dragons did actually crash Minecraft. But, yeah, you can see, like, Minecraft Java would have probably crashed a lot sooner than that. Um... And, uh, yes, most of this is going to be comparing Minecraft back Bedrock to Java because that's like the main thing we're talking about on PC is Bedrock versus Java, and like at the end I'll become I will compare this to the mobile phone version and the Switch version. Um, so let's just load Minecraft back up. I'm just gonna make sure. It's being captured by this. Oh. All done. Let's try switching back and forth. Wait, F11. There we go. That's oh, because I was in full screen and I alt tabbed out. Alright, play. And uh, not play. So. There's one last thing I want to talk about, and that people, that is a sticking point for most people when we're talking about Minecraft Bedrock versus Minecraft Java, and that is the marketplace. And I never really got why people were so angry at the marketplace. Um, like, I'm not a big fan of the, well, I've never been like a big fan of the Minecraft marketplace, period. But, um,. I do think, um, you know, at the end of the day, it is a good thing. It, you know, it it does more good than bad, basically. And uh, the, the reason why, I've, well, let's talk about the bad first. The bad is that this does basically open the door for a lot of shovelware crap to get more attention on the Minecraft marketplace, and then you're gonna have, um. You know, it's like crappy worlds that, um, you know, are low effort and, uh, um, you know, just, you know, a crap basically. Um, but it uh, also means that. Uh, uh, makes it easier for people, you know, for like people who make maps and that, uh, hopefully they'll add like um, mods and behavior packs 
to this separately as well, but um, it's not on there right now. And that, like I said, that is hopefully something they do add at a, a later date because there's there is a lot of, like in it, all like the infrastructure is there for them to add it in, but it's just like they've not really bothered, I believe. Anyway, um. And it, uh, it just makes it so that the people who make them can more easily monetize their work. And uh, uh, to be fair, there is a review system. Like if I go here, um, if I scroll down a little bit, yeah, reviews. 73% uh, 5 stars, 8% 4, 4% 3, 2% 2 stars, and 11% 1 stars. And then you can... Uh, See, okay, so, and that's got like 7,463 ratings. So it's like, okay, and then you can just like m m uh, inform your purchasing decision based off, you know, the ratings. Um, now, would it be nice to for there to be a more in-depth review system? Yeah, but it this is more than you know some like stores like uh, I believe the PlayStation Store and the, and the, the uh, Nintendo eShop don't have reviews. Um, so it's like yeah, it's just like. It's just like any, it's just like a store where you can buy world, skin packs, and the, the, uh, texture packs. Um, now, the main complaint is, it's like, oh, well, we, in Java, we can get all this for free. And it's like, settings, video, and uh, not video, sorry, global resource packs, active. You see these packs here, all of these. I did not pay a single penny for any of them. And all of my own packs didn't pay for any of these. Didn't pay for that, 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 different didn't pay for that, 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 did not pay for them. I did pay for Chroma Hills. Uh, I believe Deep Sea Mashup. I don't believe I pay for these two because I believe you got them for free. Um, because like this is like the classic texture pack and this is, this is like the uh, more modern one. Uh, and I believe I paid for that, 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 and that. But yeah, this is like most of my texture packs I did not pay for. I got for free. Because like either this like made by Foxy or you know you can you can literally just like go on Google and look up uh, um, texture packs for Minecraft Bedrock and uh, yeah you can get a lot of texture packs for free um, and because uh, um, you know texture packs are basically the same I believe you know f between Java and Bedrock. It doesn't really, well, they're not exactly the same, but it's just like, there's very small differences between the two, so it just doesn't take a lot of work, so, uh, from what I know, to convert a texture pack from Bedrock, from Java to Bedrock, or vice versa. Um, there's even, uh, if I go back into here, um, and scroll down here, Pure BD Craft is the Sfax. Um, uh, texture pack that you would like rec recognize from, um, like, um, you know, your like early like Yogg's cast, uh, series like Jaffa Vac Factory, Moon Quest, Flux Buddies, um, and part of Cornerstone. If you're a Yogg's cast fan, you'll recognize some of them series. Uh, so this is like the same texture pack where obviously it's like been, it's continuously being updated. I don't know if it's still being updated on Java. I cannot confirm nor deny that, but yeah, 
It's the same. If, uh, unfortunately, there's no sound effects for the villagers uh, making the Jawa noises. Which is a little bit, which was a little bit disappointing when I first downloaded it, but... Eh, nothing in the world. Did I ever review this? Oh, yeah, I did. I reviewed the five stars, I believe. Ah, um, and apparently they've got a. Uh, hold on. And yeah, they've made more stuff after that. So if you like that style, that you know what they did in that, so you can see what other stuff they've done. So like Santa's uh, uh, Playland. And they've... Oh, you know that sent me to YouTube. It's going to see, like, skins that they've made. So it's a lot easier to, like, follow what, uh, you know, your favourite uh, um, texture pack makers and uh, the uh, map makers uh, do. Oh, I love pure BD craft. So let's see. There's they've also made vanilla BD craft, which is like a more vanilla style of the pure BD craft. Or you got pure classic skins. You've got dungeon. You got more skins. 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 I'm not a big skin fan. Skins. Yeah, just lots of, mostly skins they've done since then. Yeah, they do. But yeah, if you like, again, if you're into skins, you can just like follow this. You can just like check back on the thing every so often and see what skins they've made. That is a weird skin. Mimic the fake cereals. Oh, so it's a cereal box. Okay, that's that makes more sense. So yeah, um, there's no real reason to dislike the marketplace. You're not forced to go to the marketplace to get skins or textures. Like again, uh, skins you can download custom skins. I think I might actually still have some custom skins somewhere in here. Body. Oh wait, no, not edit character. Yeah, that's my. Hold on, let me just change skin. Beach pen. Yeah. I've got a lot of skins. Because I have um, console edition Minecraft, so I got like a bunch of skins from there. But yeah, I think it, um, I probably lost it. Skins where you can like uh, download skins. Yeah, look, own skins. So yeah, you can just like download the skin and it, whatever you want. So there's really no reason to dislike the marketplace because you're not forced to go to the marketplace at any point in time or you spend any money in it. It's just like an option you have there that you can use. And if you're just and if your biggest complaint about Minecraft Bedrock is it gives you the option to support uh, map makers and skin makers and the, the um, texture pack makers, then there's something wrong with you because. No matter what work you do, you deserve to be compensated for your time, whether that's um, making videos, editing videos, uh, plumbing, making Minecraft maps, or map skins and tech, you know, whatever you, you know, 
whatever you do with your time, you deserve to at least have the ab ability to be compensated for your time. Um, and it, uh, yes, Microsoft does take a cut of that money, but it's just like... I'm sure a lot of map make makers uh, prefer the prefer it to prefer to be able to monetize their work at all and give Microsoft a small cut than not really being able to monetize their work uh, because easily because it's just like um, yeah you could do a Patreon with it. it's like that's very unlikely to. Um, gain a substantial following and even then people uh, could probably uh, um, just like take the texture pack or take the texture pack from your patreon and just spread it around the internet so this is like a safe way for you know marketplace creators to make money off their work so yeah how would I com so yeah this is when this is the end of the video now and I'm gonna get into uh, comparing these this to the free other versions of Minecraft, the other two versions of Minecraft I looked at, Minecraft on mobile and Minecraft on uh, Switch. I think if you don't want a portable version of Minecraft, this is probably your best, um, you know, option. Unless you don't have a lot of money, uh, then I would recommend getting the Switch version because a uh, Switch version, a uh, Nintendo Switch only costs about 200 quid off the top of my head, I believe it is. 200 or 300 quid, and then like another 50 quid for the game. And a computer on its own can cost, hun a decent computer can cost a few hundred quid more. And, you know, and a, the, um, you know, basically you're not going to get a computer as powerful as a Switch for the same price as a Switch. And that's just, that goes for the same for like the Xbox, the PlayStation, and the uh, um, uh, the Steam Deck really because um, the companies that make them Nintendo, Sony, Microsoft and the, the St uh, Steam Valve um, they make deals with the part manufacturers to get like say 1000 of them and they get like 30% discount off what any normal per person would pay for them, um, which is why they can, uh, um, you know, give you a system that is that uh, is more powerful than what you'd be able to get for the same price. Um, and uh, even then, uh, a lot of systems are profitable, like the original um, PS5, the original PS5 that came out before it got revised. Uh, was not profitable and for every PS5 that was sold, Sony was losing money on it. So, uh, they were really relying on the unit sales for the games to prop it up. Which didn't really turn out too well because all the PS5s were getting scalped online and then being put in a warehouse and then not many people were able to buy games. So yeah, they kind of flubbed that. Um. So yeah, which is why they probably uh, rushed out a, um, well, I don't think they rushed it, but I think they, like, fast-tracked getting out a revision that could be profitable for them uh, before, you know, they were just, like, selling too many PS5s that were not profitable and just in warehouses that uh, didn't really, that weren't really earning them any money. Um... Money they'd still rather scalp is not scalp, but hey, at least they're not going to be losing money on every PlayStation 5 that gets scalped, basically. Um, and so, yeah, if you're limited on money, get the Switch version, unless you're so limited on money that you only have a phone and like a few quid, and then it's like, yeah, sure, that's the viable option and if you do I would highly recommend getting a controller for your um, phone which will probably set you back another like 20 quid for a decent one um, 
But if you, you know, if you don't have any, like, re if you don't really have any money restrictions and you don't really want a portable version of Minecraft, then, yeah, Minecraft on Windows is a very solid, uh, you know, option because, uh, on PC, because, you know, it's, uh, all the things I've just, like, talked about in this video, basically, that's why, um, yeah, that's pretty much everything. I don't think I've forgotten to mention anything, really. Um, yeah. That's it. So, uh, before I end this video right here, I'm going to make a little of a bit of announcement. So, I did enjoy this series. It's like looking at all the different versions of well, the current version of Minecraft that uh, we see today and just like comparing them uh, to oh, and obviously there's Minecraft on PlayStation and Xbox which they are also a viable option if you're limited on money and that, uh, um, don't care about portability um, but yeah um, so yeah I enjoyed like comparing all them and uh, Looking at I'm mean, you know, looking at the differences between all of them, and that something I'm gonna do is a series was like, should you watch YouTube on? So it'll be like this: it's to be like, should you play Minecraft on? But with YouTube, so it's like I'll look on like look at like different devices that uh, you can watch YouTube on, and talk about the pros, the cons. Should you watch? Should you use it? Should you not use it? And so on, and um, yeah, so the versions of YouTube that I'm currently um, planning to do are YouTube on the um, Switch, Wii U, and 3DS. Not necessarily in this order, um, because those are the three main um, Nintendo consoles that I think have enough distinction to make them worth, worth talking about on their own whereas it's like on like Xbox or PlayStation is basically the same as Switch but you can't really undock a PlayStation or Xbox so it's just like I think has a little bit more to talk about on the Switch than on the PlayStation and Xbox um uh and it, uh, I also want to talk about it on like Windows basically um, just because that's where most people watch YouTube I think and uh, on mobile phone and on TV which that's six different versions of YouTube that I want to take a look at if you know any other versions of YouTube that you know or devices of you on YouTube uh, have YouTube that might be um, you know, different enough to talk about, let me know down in the comment section below. But yeah, um, other than that, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I hope to see you guys in the next video, and bye bye